Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Wrangler on the Road, I guess. In this one, we've got Guy Dude Manson. And uh, hit me up if you need the exact spelling and spacing of the name because it's one letter off from being identical to a Charles Manson fan page on this platform. I'm no kidding. Anyway, this little idiot is from Oregon, and K4 and I have been having our fun with him. I think Unclean's been having some fun with him. He is a total sovsit moron. He claims that he is a communist anarchist, which is actually really kind of funny because in communism, all laws and everything are dictated by the communist government, whereas an anarchist doesn't want any rules. So go figure. Uh, anyway, he's decided to come after Brother KFAR again, and since KFAR is not only under the weather, but apparently his modem has unalived itself. He's basically using his cell phone to hotspot the entire house, and it's about to explode. So, dude, guy, whatever. Yeah, game on. Kafar, I don't understand why you keep acting like you've debated me or debunked what I've said. or Like, like you failed to answer every single question I've asked you. And... I mean, at best, it's because you're, you know, incapable of answering them. And at worst, it's because you know I'm right and you're just trying to save face. So, I mean, which is it, brother? L let's begin with the first two questions I ever asked you. The first two questions you failed to answer. I cannot remember the questions verbatim, but I'll post it right here so that anybody can read them using the pause button. You realize when I post comments for a short amount of time, it's because people have the ability to pause the video and read. But I digress. The first two questions I asked you are something like, it's basically why did the colonists declare their independence from King George? Was it because King George was legislating laws that reduced them into absolute dispositism? Well, moron, I mean, yes, technically the term to legislate means to enact or create laws. But we in this country, we tend to think of legislate as two sides coming together to argue for and against the pros and cons of a certain law. And then we vote on it. And I'm sorry, the, leg the representatives that we've already elected by voting them into office, they vote on said laws. And then it goes up through the then it goes up from there as the law requires. One of the other reasons that we got tired of King George's shit was one of our biggest things is taxation without representation. All right. He didn't legislate laws in the traditional way that we understand them as Americans. He dictated laws that benefited nobody but himself. Swing and a miss. The answer is the colonists declared their independence and exercised their God-given rights because King George had a long train of usurpations and abuses that evidenced a design to reduce them into absolute dispositism. And we can see that the proletariat of today are in that exact situation. And let, let me explain it. Hey, stupid, don't you mean destitute instead of despot? You So that, like, I'll, I'll try to be slow and use little words so that you can keep up. Why should my only ability to satisfy my wants and needs be to utilize USD? The current governments have legislated laws like the state and federal government. They've legislated laws that reduce us into absolute dispositism. And the government representatives like the Supreme Court, they stood idly by watching doing nothing and like actually condoning, perpetuating, and encouraging it. So, proof positive again, you have no idea what in the holy hell you're talking about, kid. Seriously, all right? You're talking about representatives and then talking about the Supreme Court's done this and done this. Guess what? The Supreme Court are not representatives. The Supreme Court... Or, no, they're judiciaries. They weren't elected. Representatives are elected. That that would be congressmen and women. All right. 
Supreme Court justices. They are appointed and then they are confirmed by votes by the representatives. How do you not get how this works yet? Maybe you should ease off drinking so much of the either bong water or come down off that LSD trip and get join reality with the rest of us. Because, dude, you're losing badly. And for the love of God, change clothes. Yeah, we, we don't need to listen to the current governments because they clearly do not have our best interests at heart. The, the current governments clearly cannot be trusted. Why, why would you believe that they're going to tell you the truth? It, it, it's mind blowing to me, but let me explain to you how the government has achieved reducing us into absolute dispositism without our consent, right? Okay, so... <laughs> so the government has legislated laws that force me to use USD, a fiat currency, in order to satisfy my wants and needs. And I'm just gonna go ahead and assume you don't know what a fiat currency is. It means a currency that's literally no different than the dollar bill notes in the board game Monopoly in your closet. That, that you're literally using. All right, sorry to interrupt again, but a couple of things. One, it, our country is not about the individual. All right, laws are not made for the individual. The laws that are passed, now granted, some of them are misguided at times, but they are made in the spirit of the collective population. In other words, they're made for the majority of the people. We are never going to have a law, ever. You would never, if you had to have every citizen signature vote on every law that was passed and it had to be unanimous, no law would ever pass. You are never going to have people that agree on every single thing, every single time. That goes with being people. It's just like there's no such thing as perfection. Perfection is nothing more than one person's ideal. That's all it is. That's no different. All right. And another thing, those dollar bills that you're talking about, that's called legal tender. That is the, that's a law. It was passed legally. That that is the recognized spending currency of our country and it was done before you they don't need your consent using monopoly money to to pay for things like so now that's my only choice like if i don't want to utilize this worthless piece of paper to satisfy my wants and needs i'll be thrown in a cage like if i do what our forefathers did right if i try to utilize the same opportunities our forefathers did to satisfy their wants and needs by growing a cash crop, I'll be thrown in a cage. You, you realize that there's other currencies than USD I have the right to utilize in order to satisfy my wants. No, actually, if they wanted to keep just the barter, the bartering system, they would have stuck with it. They would not have created an entirely new economy for us, for future generations, you moron. And secondly, no, you don't have that option. It's not up to you. You keep saying about your wants and needs, your wants and needs, the individual's wants and needs. It's not about you as an individual, you little crack baby. And you would have known this if you'd ever gone out into the world and left your mama's property where obviously you sleep in her tool shed. Then get your mama to wash your clothes once in a while. Needs, right? Like currencies that are backed by a gold standard or, you know, what what the our currency used to be. But now we use a fiat. Well, so are you going to be uh, planting, caring for, harvesting, and carrying all that crop to market so you can keep 100% of the crops? Or are you going to hire people to do it and exploit their labor? Hmm. Fundamental paradox, isn't it? Currency that's absolutely worthless. And the only way to get that fiat currency, if you're a part of the proletariat class, is to allow your labor to be exploited by a corporation or an employer. So, so don't sit there and act like the Supreme Court is going to tell me the truth. Yeah, F the Supreme Court. The, they're clearly not interpreting the Constitution correctly. Like, clearly. You mean those properly experienced and educated just, justices? 
who not only have a high school diploma, which I doubt you do, they graduated pretty high to get into a top-notch, the, the damn top-notch school, probably Ivy League. Uh, then they got top marks there so that they could get into what I'm going to imagine was an Ivy League law school. They graduated, obviously, passed the bar, served as, as lawyers for many, many years. Then they served as judges, and they moved up those chains. So how is it that you think that they're not interpreting the Constitution correctly? Or is it because they're not interpreting it the way you want it interpreted? Yeah, that's what makes you wrong. It's because you're not thinking of anybody else except yourself. And all this bullshit you're going on about this system and that and take and having labor exploited by a corporation or an employer, you keep telling yourself that. We all know good and damn well that that is just lies and bullshit you tell yourself so that you don't have to go get a job and you don't feel guilty about living in your mama's trailer. I never once said F the Constitution like this man lies and says I did. This man, at best, is incapable of accurately representing what I say and, at worst, is intentionally lying about what I say as to save face, as to double down because he has dedicated his life into defending a corrupt, tyrannically oppressive regime. So, okay. That, that's why at the Supreme Court, we, we can see a long train of abuses and usurpations that are designed to reduce us into absolute dispositism. And the Supreme Court has stood idly by watching all that has happened. So, so if you expect me to believe that any government representatives are going to tell me the truth about what my rights are and what my rights mean, you're dead wrong. I will never, never believe any government representative as to... Dude, for the last time, representatives, congressmen and women are not there to tell you the truth about anything. All right. They're not they're not press secretaries. They're legislators. Their job is to pass, enact, interpret laws so that they can be passed correctly before they go to the president to be signed and then reviewed by the Supreme Court. And the Supreme Court just doesn't sit around and go, oh, I don't like that law. Let's look at that one. They have to wait until cases are brought to them. What my rights mean. I, I can think for myself. I can read what our forefathers left behind and I can follow their example. If that makes me a domestic terrorist, then I'm a domestic terrorist. I mean, honestly, like, think about what you're saying. You, you swore an oath to defend the rights of the innocent, and now you think that means to compel the innocent into obeying laws that reduce them into absolute dispositism. It's okay to think for yourself. It's never too late to start. Like, you're capable of thinking for yourself. I know you are. And, yeah, I, okay, fine. The Facebook post is a public debate. All right, all right, fine. But you realize that there's a huge difference between commenting on a Facebook post and having a face-to-face -face debate, right? Which is what I was challenging you to do public. Would that be the same debate that I slated time for, sent you notifications and evite on and you never showed up? Would it be that same debate? Would it, that one be it? Yeah, that's what I thought. I wasn't challenging you to publicly post on Facebook. I was publicly challenging you to a face-to-face -face debate. But, I mean, okay, you can you can be all deluded to create this such a bias in your mind that you, you'll refuse to see reason, logic, and facts, and well preaching that you're utilizing those things. And what you said about debating that person, I never refused to debate that person. I told that person I intend to debate them in the future, but I would like to focus this debate on those who utilize platforms, social media platforms, into making people who wish for their rights look stupid. I, I think that's completely reasonable. I, I'm by all means, I'm intend to do a future podcast with this random person. But I mean, come on, you, you, you're, you have a 10,000 subscribers that follow you, you know, you, you're kind of a lot bigger deal than some random person.
like you see the difference yeah you're right oh, oh my gosh i have a little over a hundred subscribers oh no whatever i'll keep posting videos like like that's where you start right you gotta start somewhere you started out with that many subscribers right so should i have disregarded you when you only had 200 subscribers all right well in that case i think that's where we're gonna end it for today because i just can't take his dumbass anymore he's killing my brain cells and, and dude this has nothing to do with sub count. This has to do with your theories are of the worst kind because they're unresearched. And to hear you talk on them, speak on them, it sounds like that they were that they were inspired when you drank the bong water. So knock it off, dude, because you look like you've either never had a daddy or you've never been out of whatever little hick town you're from because you know nothing of the world, you know nothing of our country, and you know nothing of how our government works. Take a civics class, moron. They offer them online. Anyway, guys, it's Wrangler. I'm out of here. I love y'all. Have a good one.